All right, folks. Today we're making bobo tea, so stay tuned because it's time to dry. Fire in the braai! So, first of all, you have to make a big fire because we need a lot of embers today. If you don't know boboti or bobotai, I don't know, I will call this boboti. Stay tuned, it's worth a try and it's one of South African's classic dishes. We get started with some older rolls which will be marinated in peach beer of course normally beer normal beer would work fine here as well and in the meantime chop some onions and some garlic of course i put the exact amount of each ingredient into the video description as always so this is ground beef and we mix some tomato and our soaked up bread. You can use any bread you like or any beer you like. Water will work fine as well. I just have the um, great opportunity that I live next to the Belgian border and they have a lot of great beer flavored with food and stuff. So next thing you need is some salt and pepper or you can use some fish and butter rub from over 15 barbecue if you ever have the possibility to get this. So mix it up and then we are ready to start with the braai. Take the embers on one side and add your Dutch oven. Of course this one um, is classically made in a poacher which is um, similar to a Dutch oven. The shape is a little bit different but a Dutch oven or poultry would work fine here. So add some olive oil, let this heat up a bit and then we add the mixture of garlic and onions. So next thing we we'll add here is the 0815 barbecue fruity rub. That's cool because it's fruity and it's a little bit hot. If you are not able to get this rub, you can use one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of paprika and one teaspoon of chili powder. So next thing we need is some apricot jam. Poboti is a sweet and hot dish and some fruity jam or jelly stuff would work great here. You can also use cherry if you like, peach, whatever you like. After a couple of minute, minutes, add the ground beef mixture with the bread and stuff. So now you have to decide whether the um, ground beef is dry, a little bit too dry, then add some more beer or juice. I decided to do so. And then we add some minced almond or ground almond. You can use almond flakes if you like and roast them into a pan and mix them here for me 
the ground version is just perfect. So in the meantime your ground beef cooks for approximately 20 minutes. You need a lot of eggs so I used 8 eggs and about 400 milliliters of milk. Some salt and pepper or you can use some herbs if you like as well. So this mixture comes over the ground beef, so this gives a nice crust. So close the lid. Make sure not to burn yourself because the Dutch oven or the pot here is pretty hot. And then put some coals onto the lid and let that cook for approximately 45 minutes. Make sure not to have too much heat. This one is more low and slow than quick and hot. I show you how this looks like after 20 minutes. And then I decided not to put any more charcoals onto the lid. And next shot is about 45 minutes. And we're almost ready to eat. So South Africa is really a great topic for me in the upcoming weeks. There will be several more recipes coming up and big surprises, great footage coming up soon. Make sure to subscribe to 0815barbecue.com, it's worth, the upcoming weeks will be awesome. So, we're ready to plate this up. So, this bobo tea can be served with rice and um, most of the South African people add a relish to this or chutney. I used pear chutney here, spicy pear, but you can use any chutney you like. So I'll show you the last picture of the dish. Thanks for watching, I'm out, see you.